my thing is post you being arrested and the behavior that you display do you think that that's becoming of someone who's sitting on the bench and who's supposed to represent justice mm-hmm. and not uh cause this may well i would say this um at the beginning of the day and at the end, I'm a human being and I deserve justice, just as you do. I believe we're misunderstanding and mischaracterizing what we're looking at here. My rights were violated. So you're talking about someone who fights for your rights and I protect you. I protected you as a lawyer. I protected you as a prosecutor. I protected you as a judge. Where's the protection for me? Where's the protection for women? Where's the protection for black women? But there you go. (laughs) What's going on, party people? What is going on? It's your ride share extraordinaire. Your super duper Uber drivers here, guys. That's right. That's right. Thank you. Thank you. You guys, you already know the deal. Before you hop in my ride, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. Poor favor. (laughs) Come on. Let's do this. Hop on in, buckle in, and let's go. Yeah! Okity dokity. Party people, welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, thank you for hitting that subscribe button. All right, Ken, folks, what are we talking about today, folks? Man, oh, man. So, the pit bull in the wig has been put down. Not literally, but... Christina Peterson, I'm not going to call you Judge Peterson anymore because Miss Peterson has been disbarred. She's been fired. Yes. Now, this is not only because of this incident at the nightclub. She's had several uh, um, infractions since she's been a judge, a probate judge. Now, Fox 5 here has over 30, 30 of her ups. And so now she has been known as systemic incompetence. In other words, she's a fuck up. <laughs> An extraordinary development tonight in the long running investigation into Douglas County Judge Christina Peterson. In a rare move, a hearing panel decided Peterson is guilty of, quote, systemic incompetence and should not remain in office. <laughs> now, imagine, guys. Imagine. You're 38 years old. You're a female, a black female. You've been elected as a probate judge, okay? With this uh, appointment in Douglas County, you become the highest paid state employee, the highest, even higher than the governor. Yes, because some way the probate, if she finds you, she gets to pocket the money. And she's been caught abusing that power she put a young lady in jail for just uh um, updating her marriage certificate put the lady in jail for two days and ordered her to pay five hundred dollars just don't have a memory of my dad i don't know who he is the most troubling wrote the panel peterson's decision to jail this woman for trying to amend her marriage certificate to include the real name of her recently discovered father did you go to this hearing um, with any idea that you may be going to jail? No. P.J. Skelton served two days of a 20-day jail sentence for contempt before her husband could pay a $500 fine. One. Such a hasty and shockingly disproportionate reaction is the hallmark of Peterson's intemperance, wrote the panel. Yeah. So little shit like that got her caught up. Her head's too big. Peterson, meanwhile, saying in a JQC hearing that the real tragedy is that she didn't get enough credit for making county history. I'm the first African-American female and Democrat. Yes. Any publications that you're aware of that ever acknowledged that fact? I was never celebrated or congratulated. And that's another thing. She got on Facebook and whined about nobody celebrating her for being a first black judge in Douglas County. Big deal. Big fucking deal. Hoopla. You know, she was too ghetto-ish. They call it a strag. She's a strag. 
to the JQC complaint, on her birthday last August, Peterson posted this on her official Christina J public Instagram page. A picture of herself wearing a birthday tiara and listing her Cash App account. Quote, if anyone feels like sharing their quarantine wealth. When JQC investigators contacted the judge this year, the complaint says Peterson explained she thought that post was to her private personal page. And I was wondering on that day why I was getting Cash App from people I didn't know. The JQC said in her Instagram bio, Peterson called herself Judge Elect. We have a lot of drags out here. I said the story before. If you go down to Clayton County, Clayton County has the magistrate court has nine judges. Out of those nine, there's seven black females. Seven of those black females are strags. Okay, look at this one here. You see this one with the big arms? She will eat your ass up. Okay, so guys, if you're ever in Clayton County and you get pulled over and you got to uh, see one of these judges, your ass is grass, all right? Kiss your butt goodbye, because these judges are nothing but pit bulls. Pit bull, German shepherds, <laughs> and rot rolls over here, and hyenas, okay? Yeah, all these drags, talking about they're professionals, nine times out of ten, they're not professionals. And we have a lot of them out here, a lot of them in Atlanta. You want to take me? You... I pray for you. I, I I promise I pray for you because your life, you have a long life to live. I promise you. I pray for you. Ma'am, I need your first name. I pray for you, things. sir. Listen to me. So I can book you in so you the can last go on with your day. So you can go on with your day. Yes, sir, the last, person me. That did, the last person that ever tried me like this died 30 days later. I pray for you. And I I pray for you. My God. Oh, thing. She is 38. She had all her life ahead of her. But she couldn't manage because, for one, she's not married. So she will have no accountability, nobody to check her. And she got no kids. Just nothing but weaves and BBLs. You have the ability to call a special election, to give the homeowners the opportunity to come, congregate, nominate, and elect their own the probate judge knows what she's talking about. Listen to her. She got two pending lawsuits against us right now. <laughs> You're going to follow the law. Do what the Supreme Court tells you to do. How about you pay attention to that? Why you stole the seventy thousand dollars from your plaintiffs? Give them their money. If you're suing, and you're getting money, or you're taking something from this community. I don't think you should be speaking out like that. Don't take that from somebody who ain't got nothing. So you're gonna continue to be not happy then you don't follow the law. But now somebody done took a needle and popped that big head of yours and took all the hot air out your ass. Now, now what? What you gonna do? I know Uber Eats is hiring. <laughs> Come on in. Come on in. <laughs> Did you punch a police officer? Absolutely not. I never really knew a police officer was there. My focus was on the victim. Do you think that you exercised good judgment as a judge when what you were in the backseat of that police car, not giving him any of your information? No, it's, it wasn't the best judgment, but I can say um, I wasn't comfortable with speaking with that officer. I, I was just so devastated and just so... Um, frustrated on how this man decided to treat me without cause. One thing that I was proud of when people talk bad about Atlanta, I used to say shit like, uh, well, at least we're not in New Orleans. What? New Orleans is bad too. But God damn it, we done took the baton and we running first place right now as the most fucked up black chocolate city out here. Jesus Christ. We've been catching L's ever since we lost the Super Bowl. Man. We never recovered since. But when something happens to me, y'all are like, that's not becoming. Like, the thing is, I shouldn't have to cuss. The people out there should have been fighting for me. They should have been advocating for me. So, yeah, it's 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 very frustrating. And it is, it's not becoming. But at, in that moment, I was a woman that had been hit by a man. I don't, I'm not used to that. This is all your fault. Look yourself in the mirror. Mm-hmm. And say, shit, I fucked up. Once you start saying that, start taking accountability, get on the TV and say, damn, I fucked up. 
then we'll probably start looking at you differently. But you're going around saying it's not my fault, his fault. I was trying to help. No, 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 no. We're tired of this. And so the next domino is going to fall is Fonnie Willis. This is a precursor for Fonnie Willis. They're coming after you as next. We see that Ashley Merchant Woo! has just pressed another lawsuit on your donkey ass. Yeah. Holding records, not not exposing uh, records they've been asking for. Jim Jordan, the same thing, asking for public records that you're holding on to. What are you holding on to them for? What you hiding? But don't worry, don't worry. Once your ass get disbarred and get kicked out of DA, we don't want to hear it because they gave you chance over chance over chance and you're walking around untouchable. Now, nah, don't worry, don't worry. Supreme Court of Georgia is going to touch your ass. Anyway, that's my thought for the day. If you guys got any value out of my content, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. You see that notification bell? Turn on that notification bell so you get my latest and greatest. Share this content with your best friends. And tell your mama I said hi. <laughs> all right, all right. Till next time, guys. I'll see you again. And all you pit bull strags, get your ass off my lawn.